How's this for a tree? Look! Cool. And it's Mexican height. Yeah. Good. Uh, it's stunning. It's amazing. He's going to the supermarket to do the last bit of provisioning. There's some interesting looking cakes. I'm going to call this a hedgehog. Gracias. Last few things for the provisioning. We're at the pointy end of the list now. Oh, so close. I'm just making a start on the cushion that goes in front of the porthole. So getting there, only a few to go. And I've just used this bit of material here to match up the um, fabric, pattern match it to the base. Put that in situ and made a mark there. So uh, matching that up as best I can, given the confines of trying to sew in a cabin. It's going okay. One solar panel. And the solar panel size that we wanted they didn't have and we figured we're better off with a solar panel than no solar panel so bought a slightly bigger one and we've got to try and get it to fit up here so at the moment Magnus is trying to remove the gantry so we can move it about I don't know 10 centimeters so the gap here is big enough to take the new solar panel but it's all a bit tight these fittings here have been here a while and it's difficult to get it out of there so trying all sorts of things um wd-40 is definitely playing its part here we'll get there you got it i got it well done should be free now wicked oh look at that oh you put pulley on there oh this one's tight now well <laughs> oh. oh. at least it's you know it's loose yeah he's the old halyard well, that's what I suggested. I know you suggest. I wasn't going to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> you got all this height, like all these sky hooks. Might as well use them. Yeah. Not sure looks naked. We have a gantry, yeah. No gantry. Right, let's get the panel up here. All right, panel going up now. We just lifted it in, in place. It's a big one. How many? Uh, 300, 370 powers. 370 powers? Well, you asked me how much power. Yeah, I was going to say how many powers in there. 370 powers in there? Woo! By 100 mil, right? So cut a plate on there, mm -hmm. and then the tip is cut off up again, right? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're opposites. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. All right, one before, one with that. Yep. Okay. All right. So we put the plate on here, mm -hmm. and this piece that I cut off is going to be welded in the same position that it is right now, but on that plate, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's all go in nutshell. Sorting out all these capsicum that we got. I don't know how much, many capsicum are in there, but that bag's got capsicum in it. The fridge is full of capsicum. There's capsicum there, so I'm going to be doing making sauces, and I'm just going to make it up as I go along. We got this pot the other day from one of the little shops in town. I think it cost about 14 Australian dollars for the pot. So we couldn't really go past that. And we bought it mainly for cooking um, shellfish and stuff like that. And also so we can boil and so we can our produce. And I've just checked it and it fits three or six, seven of these uh, mason jars. I'm a bit happy about that. So I'm going to yeah, process all the capsicum, pop it in there for half an hour or so, and hopefully that will uh, do the trick. Last few bits, just checking the heights of the foam. So look, get in there. I think you won with dinner. This just arrived, and I thought of Sir Wendy and I but it's just for me. <laughs> it's got rice in there somewhere. Unless yeah, you get rice good. with it. 
It's got mussels, it's got crab, it's got scallops, it's got prawns, octopus. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of things. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at that dish and look at the size of it. The heat coming out of that. Yeah. Wow. Just heading to Bobby's to cut some wood to make the gas locker a bit bigger to take the bigger bottles. We have arrived. Do some chopping. So what are you doing here? I'm making one of them. Making one of them. Have you got one in that's not inches? I've got an IKEA one, but it may not be very accurate. Have you got one that's not inches? Because all my measurements oh, are in millimetres. It's all in millimetres. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think I do. All right. This is for the gas locker because our gas bottles are taller. And we need to make the locker taller. So adding a bit to the locker. And staining it until we get to Australia. And then we'll make it out of some, some hardwood. This is just to get us through. Done? Yep. They're the two levels for the box. Where are the leftovers? What's that in your hands, sweetie? Really? It's the leftover from my plat my careful planning. <laughs> I call it lucky. Plus one length just in case I made a mistake. Oh. And then you've got a half inch over overlap. Right. And when the lid closes down, yep. the, the weather seal. So what happens, there. this goes up, the outside goes up. Well, so the inside goes, inside goes up for the weather seal. Oh, yeah. like so then the lid's got a rebate in it, so when it closes down, you've got a watertight seal. Bobby's just lent us this uh, lovely uh, nail gun. Staple gun, yeah. Staple gun. life very easy. No. Right, measure twice, cut once. Yeah. When you have a bit of the local chugger. Yeah, no idea what it is. Tastes good? What would that be for, babe? Whipping. Why are you whipping? No, for my um, lashing of the ratlins. Yeah. But it's the wrong sort. I need that style, but in white. You have a tape measure? No. Yes, I've got my IKEA one. Do you want that one? It's too small. Did you want some? See. Si. Not other one. See. Bit hard. 
happy with that. Yeah. It's got loads of things ticked off the list. Yeah, it's good. It's a good purchase. The cable, we've got cable ties, we've got grommet kit, we've got all sorts of stuff. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Let's go and get the thing that we came out for. Yeah. <laughs> go and get the bottles. Jars. Jars. What's going on? <laughs> well, look at that. She's torn. She's had too much work, this old girl. Um, this is our plunger from the... Well, it's about 10 o'clock at night and I felt like doing an oil change because it was due. So I started plungering and look what I found. I, she wasn't... The oil wasn't being drained out perfectly so I found that the bucket on the lift pump had torn. So I've got a bit of leather here, just going to make up a new one, cut that out and form it up and um, we should be able to do an oil change. You always got to have leather about, it's bloody handy stuff. So uh, yeah we'll form that up and should be good. As you know, we went and got the uh, mason jars today. Well, if you didn't know, we did get mason <laughs> jars today. And I'm just uh, reducing down the capsicum with a bit of tomato, onion and garlic and a bit of pepper. I've wedged it in the little baby Oscar here, or maybe it's a, not an Oscar, but an Oscar-ish. And, um, oh, do you like my new... I love this. First time I saw this in Tapatula, I wanted it. Look, holds my uh, used garlic. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we're just trying to make things out of the stuff that we bought. We've still got all the greenery to go and yeah, it's pretty full on in this cabin at the moment. So it's just um, got the leather, just cutting it to size. And then what we're going to do is form that up a bit, wet it up, form that up and that will form a new bucket. So anyone over the age of about, I don't know, 50, will have done this with their bicycle pumps when they were kids. Because the old bicycle pump used to wear out, it was leather, and uh, we used to just make a new one up. We used to just go and find a cow and get a bit of leather and make a new one. Pump it again. That's how you do it. So, a new bucket's working a treat. What are you up to, eh? I am making stuff, and I really don't know what I'm doing, but we had three pawpaws, so I've just basically fried them with onion and garlic and a bit of tomato, and I'm putting them in one of these jars, I'm going to can it, and then maybe we'll make a, like a pawpaw curry when we're in the middle of nowhere and we need a bit of freshness so um it's it's just suck it and see really making it up as I go along really but it's fun I'm enjoying myself with all this stuff so yeah this is my pawpaw pawpaw puree I suppose you could call it a pawpaw onion garlic pepper there might be a bit of capsicum in there because there are a few capsicums around here. Um, yeah, so there we go. I might put a bit of capsicum in there because I've run out of pawpaw and it's not full. So I need to fill it up. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, here we go, I'll put a bit of that in there. That's a bit of the tomato, capsicum, onion, garlic, pepper mix. Put it in there and give it a shake. Doing the last bits of the water maker. Yeah. Testing the system, checking for any leaks. We haven't had any leaks yet. Or one minor one. Yeah, but that was because something wasn't connected. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I've been making sort of relishes. And oh, Jersey girl. 
pasta sauces and curry based sauces here with our lovely new pot and I've still got capsicum in that bag over there it's still in a mess cushions are now in there I've just got one more to do right do you want to try that yep what was the problem because we just tried it and the what didn't work the solenoid yeah there are two types of solenoids uh, there's one type where the coil you need a positive and a negative wire and there's another one where the you only need a positive wire but the negative needs to go to the casing of the solenoid so this was the second type excuse the mess down there I haven't finished yet I'm just making sure everything's going to work before I tidy it all up bolt it all down I'm just going to do a couple of more batches of pickled eggs so they're going in the water to boil and yeah I've done the spices here for the eggs infused and onions they're going to go in as well and I'm going to put in some there. I just finished processing the eggs, more feta, and I thought I've finished and then I went into the fridge and I found another bag of the capsicum. So I'm going to dry some of that. I've already got some drying from earlier. Now I'll just go and chop some more up. I've never seen so much capsicum. Nancy just sanded this extension. The extension. The re oh, it needs a good extension. And he's just about to. Uh, what's the word? Stain, Stain it. it. Yeah. And what's happening on the SB Nutshell? Uh, I'm just about to do the first bit of staining I think I've ever done in my life. I'm going to make a bit of cheap pine look like very expensive Burmese teak. Look at that. Yeah, it'll be good. Does it actually stain? It's supposed to. Yeah, I guess. Can I do a textured like? Do wood? whatever you want. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to advanced level on my first go. I think because the wood is so non-porous, it's not sucking it up as well as it would normally. Ah, it's not sucking up at all. It is, you just have to do a few layers. What? Layer upon layer? Yeah, layer upon layer. But it may need, it's going to need two or three or four coats, I'd say. Yeah, it looks good. Is that? Yeah. Good. Looks great. I'm trying to get a teak look. Yeah, I think you're just going to need, honestly, three or four layers of it and it will build up really quickly. I'm just making the last pattern piece for the cockpit cushions. It's quite squeezy in a boat, making patterns that are this long. Well, that's enough, uh, I did two coats, that's going to be enough I reckon. So that's two coats? Yeah. Yeah, looks good. So I'll take it up front now and varnish it all. Awesome. And screw it together. Fantastic. Check in the boxes. And here it is, in situ. And this should... Uh, Keep us going till we get to Australia. So the gas bottles fit in nicely now because they're a lot taller than the old ones. Job done. Es disponible para la siguiente competencia de caballos. Ven a jugar, ven a participar. Lanza raro la bola. Comenzamos con otra carrera, con otra competencia. La dinámica es sencilla, solo tiene que rodar la pelota. Y ahora se van a hacer a tu caballo, si te animas. Ahí están los carriles disponibles para la siguiente carrera. Yeah. Can we have one and we'll share or we'll yeah. see what it is first? Yeah. Yeah. 
But you got the pizza. Uh-huh. Yummy.